All right, this is the first ball for our Vixens champion, Daphne Smith. Money, beautiful shot from Daphne there to get us started. Give a shout out to Rota Grip, who's, who Daphne is uh, on staff with. So you'll see Daphne throwing uh, both Rota Grip and Storm. Nice. All right. Double for Daphne to get us started. So Amory um, started in the UBA on on Daphne's team on the Savages, and uh, defected over to uh, High Caliber earlier this year. Yeah. A nice strike there by Amory there on the right line. Very nice. Got the strike. Checked up a little early on her, but it went through. And that's all that matters. So after that open for Anne Marie, she got got two strikes in a row. And Daphne starting us off here with the first two. For three, there she got it. Very nice, very nice. So the winner of this match will be defending the title at Stay In Your Lane in Columbia, South Carolina next month against the winner of the Casey Parnell-Karen Steiner match. But first things first is this one. All right, four in a row for Daphne to start. For those of you that have been following uh, Daphne's journey with us uh, on YouTube, she is uh, really doing a great job starting off these matches with strikes, putting that early pressure on her opponent because it's, Daphne has no pressure on her. It's, she puts it all on their opponent really quick and lets, and lets them deal with, uh, deal with the consequences of it. Emery looks good. Ooh, wrapped in. That looked good. That was uh, better than her last shot on that right lane. But still, still got to check out her spare game on these 10 pins. As we've seen Daphne in our previous videos, she's a 10-pin machine. Mm. So that's going to be an early hole there. Open, double, open for Anne Marie. Daphne's got four in a row to start.
Off the 10. Nice. That was a beautiful shot from Anne Marie. We gotta get her to work on her emotional emotions a little bit. But she's very uh, very solid so far. Daphne has no pins on the right lane. That's nice. So while we're waiting on uh, the lane light to come back on for 22, I want to shout out to uh, Storm. Been a great sponsor for the UBA. Very supportive of everything we do, whether it's WCS or huge events like Battle Bowl, Mega Bowl. Also our support group at Bowl TV. So we're going to see most of Daphne's opponents have not done a good job of uh, slowing her down. But well, let's see if lane 22 was able to be more successful than a lot of the women uh, have been this season. Here's Daphne front four. Looks good. Ah, flat 10. So the crowd on hand today for this match is definitely in favor of high caliber. There's more high caliber folks in attendance than Savages. Both teams had a tour stop uh, about four hours ago. And so a lot of those folks are still here from both teams, but a lot of high caliber folks made the trip that didn't bowl earlier. Nice spare by Daphne there. Twenty-two is giving us giving us some more fits again. Happens from time to time in these centers. And that's part of the problem where Daphne can't go ahead and bowl on twenty-one yet, because I'm sure her thumb is in her spare ball that she just uh, picked that ten pin up with. Ball is back, so waiting on 22 to still be fixed, but Daphne will be able to go ahead and throw her first shot on lane 21. Right. 
Daphne on a spare. Oh, nice. Looked like that one up the back. By the eight board there at the arrows. Which is a little bit out and out further out than she had been, been previously playing on 21, but outcome still the same. She's been perfect on 21. All right. So let's see how that uh, brief delay impact impacts Anne Marie here. Looks good from here. Oh, really light getting in the pocket. Two eight is the leave. So you heard in the uh, introductory uh, introduction to this match, um, Amory uh, was previously on Savages and uh, came over earlier this year. And so now it's good to be a different competitor for Daphne in this series. And she's going to do everything she can to uh, take that belt from Daphne today. Love the jersey, that and girl. Still early here. We're in game one. Looks good. Well, the nine went out. It looked a little late, but it fell. That's all that matters. So 225 is the max for Anne Marie at this time. Daphne's on a 279 max. She left the 10 pin on this lane last time. Mm. She asked it to get back. That could have been a worse leave than it was, but just a two pin now for her. All right, good spare by Daphne. So she's on a 259 max now. But she's been perfect on this left lane. And at eight again. Ah, 10 pin. So Daphne definitely had the advantage on the look uh, here at North Side Lanes. Daphne did both a tour stop earlier. Um, she said she shot about 690. Spare there, walks it back quick, very nice. One thing for anybody wanting to be in the WCS series to always uh, consider is when you when you're having your matches, try to bowl the event before. Get your uh, get you a good look. Figure out what balls you need to use, and that'll make it a whole lot easier for you once you actually start the match. And Daphne does that at all the events that we have. The matches at today is at a tour stop. You know, very uh, very nice strategy uh, from Daphne and her team on getting her on the lanes that she's going to be bowling on later. So. Really nice job by them. And Anne-Marie is now doubled. 
So she's going to come on this left lane here and see if she can give us uh, her first turkey of the match. Side. Mm. Four, six, seven there. Yeah, it looked like that one over about the 12th board. Just didn't go out far enough there. But I just go ahead and get two here. And she does. Good. So, yeah, her max now is on 190. Um, Daphne's already at 178 plus the next ball, so game one is going to go to Daphne. Game one to Daphne. I believe. I don't see Daphne leave too many of those. She was going to chop that down for a second. And I'm not sure if you can hear it in the broadcast, but I can hear it here with her, her, the breaking sound her shoes are making. So if, if you hear it on the feed, it's, it's just Daphne. There's no cars driving around us or any other thing crazy going on. Over nine should be good. Ooh, no. Well, bad leave there, but it's all good. This uh, game one is going to Daphne regardless. She's got a 2 8 10. See if she even shoots at it or if she just uh, maybe throws that first ball again to make sure she gets herself lined up. For those of you unfamiliar with the WCS series, Pinfall is, is irrelevant. It's all about game counts. So it's a race to four. First lady to win four games. We'll leave here with the championship belt. So Daphne takes the two off that. Finishes with a 211. And Marie uh, got a couple shots on the right lane here to hopefully get her adjustments that she might need to make. And she's she's over there with uh Casey Parnell and her team owners and some team members are helping her coach her up and get her ready to not only finish this game but get started with the next.
And we're quickly starting game two here. In case you're just joining us, yes, Daphne is up 1-0. A couple of early opens for Anne Marie. What's her downfall? And that one, Daphne didn't open till the 10th. Nice spare by Daphne. You see, I probably got her roto grip patch on her shirt. She's a great representative of the roto grip family and all of SPI. And finished on this right lane. Let's see if she got it figured out. And she does. That was a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot by Maria there on the right lane. Oh, got a little smile from her there. That's pretty good. Double to start, okay. Much better start for Emory this game than the last one. Seven came out there. And Daphne def uh, defeated the Northeast champ at Mega Bowl, Terry Bollinger. Terry did take it seven games, but Daphne came away victorious in that. So it went right over the second arrow on that shot. So it's early in game two, but we got 290, 300 hour maxes. Start game two for Anne Marie. High caliber has a number of uh, a number of ladies in the Vixen series. Uh, Casey Barnell, Joan and Sarah Collier, both in the series. And this franchise came about as a branch off from the Spartanburg Savages. She, she gets set quick and goes. Over 11. Uh, big four. So I've noticed with her shots, if she if she's uh, inside of a, like 11, um, it's... it's it's not holding for her. It's coming across and causing these splits. She does the right thing, gets two, doesn't get crazy with it. So the lead goes back to Daphne. Oh, 
just light two pin. So Emery probably has about 20 teammates here in attendance. And you can tell when she's struggling, she goes back and has words with a few of them to see what they see and try to make the right adjustments. When she feels good about it, she's kind of staying over herself um, over to our left. Got lots of Spartanburg Savages in the house as well. Uh, Daphne's husband, Nick. He's uh, down here, Storm Staffer. Help Daphne out with any look and adjustments that she needs to make. Right over nine. Light. Ooh. Five, seven, leave. Yeah, the ball just felt really slow there, got in light, didn't knock the five out. So she got to throw this five seven. Got a shot at it, and she got it. Very nice five seven split conversion by Daphne. Who is <laughs> a little curtsy from Daphne there? She all right. Let's see what uh, Amory can do for that big four. Got to go, and it does. Very nice. Got to come. Okay, he's out of trouble. Just got a ten there. That went over about the seven uh, seven board at the arrows and just stayed out right a lot longer than it needed to before it started coming back. And luckily, she got the seven out because it definitely looked like it was going to be a big split there. And it holds. She does. Nice spare. Just joining us, this is game two. We're halfway through game two. Max score for Daphne, 257. Max score for Emery is 242. Here's Daphne's first shot after picking up the 5-7. Looks good. Ah, oh, that was light, wow. A 7-8 leave. Okay, let's see if we get back-to-back -back split conversions, even even though this one uh, requires a lot of accuracy on this side. Oh, she missed that one. All right, well, sixth frame open for Daphne. Going to lower her max now to 234, so Anne Marie is going to be in the driver's seat here. <clears throat> Daphne's looking at a, at a ball change. Uh, I think that's uh, one of the physics, if I'm not mistaken. 
Dakin. Nice power, nice motion, uh, motion to that shot for right there. Crush the pocket. Went over the arrow is the same place that uh, Anne Marie did on her last shot on that left lane. But just the ball speed and the ball reaction itself just wasn't enough. But that last shot looked good from Daphne. So. See what Anne-Marie can do here. 7-10. God, that got really light. So, so far this game, Anne Marie has left the big four and the 7 10. So, let's hope she's got those big splits out of the way and can get back to striking. Oh, no, that ball speed is too slow. They got to get her out of that ball. She needs something longer if they're gonna, she's going to keep throwing it that slow. Three, six spare is made. Very nice. Not only do we have uh, former champion Casey Parnell in the building, we also have uh, former Vixens champion Destiny, uh, Destiny Harper, who's now uh, Destiny Bradshaw in the building. So watch these ladies bowl. Ooh, wow, a nice little pocket 810 there. So yeah, pocket 810 there from Daphne. So these ladies had a nice, nice striking pace going here and these last couple frames have turned it into a split contest. Daphne does the right thing, make sure she gets the one. You got one. All right, so this match is now swung back in favor or this game rather is swung back in favor of Emory. Emory's max is going to be 209. Daphne's is currently 202. It's got to go. And it did. I think she got that out a little further right than she wanted to, but it did what it needed to. Ball change for Anne Marie here. Mm. Flat ten for Anne Marie. The ball, mo the ball motion looked good there. Nice spare from Emory. So now swings back in Daphne's favor. 
Daphne's a 202 max and Maria 198 max. Speaking of former champs, we have, uh, have the current world heavyweight champ, Charles Withers, better known as Juice. He's in the building as well. Taking on this match as he could, as he can, while he's uh, finishing up the tour stop. Right. That was a nice strike there from Anne Marie. Definitely the right ball on uh, on that left wing. Another former Vixen champ we have in the building today is uh, Sarah Booth is here. She's currently bowling her tour stop on 17 and 18, and we'll be over here shortly to check out the conclusion of this match. Got a hold. Nice. Waiting on a ball return here on 21. Good time to remind everybody we are at North Side Lanes, North Augusta, South Carolina. Not far from the border uh, with, with Georgia. North Side Lanes was hosting the Deep South Tour Stop today. Both of these ladies' teams bowled a few hours ago. Daphne was on handicap two for her pair, uh, for her team, and Anne Marie did not bowl. Anne Marie arrived uh, about an hour before we got started here. And nice. So all three of her strikes on this left lane looked really good. So looks like they finally got her in the, in the right ball. So we'll see how long that, that, that can stay for her and if her. Uh, Entourage of folks can keep her hyped and keep her amp. She's trailing 1 0, but Daphne needs these first two in the tenth to win game two. If not, we're going to be tied. Nice. This has been a busy month for our Vixens champion. She bowled all the unholy squads at Mega Bowl. She bowled the North versus South uh, match, victorious in that. And then uh, did fall short in the semifinal, in the finals of the Vixens Cap Tag Team Series. But looking good here. Ah, seven pin stays up. We're going to go to game three, tied 1-1. One, one. We are going to game three, tied 1-1. One one. But like I said, it's been a, been a very busy month for Vixen's champ. Also got a son we've talked about um, previously, Jackson. And uh, Jax just recently bowled the Pepsi tournament and uh, did quite well in that. He's only been bowling for a short time, but uh, when, when your mom is Daphne and your dad is Nick, 
you uh, you're gonna have plenty of people that are gonna help you out along the way. So that's uh, very good to to see bowling families and stuff nowadays. So Emory is up to get started here. Game three, tied one one. Right where she left off the tenth frame with another strike on the left lane. That's four in a row on the left lane. Very nice, very, very nice. Can't see it with her hair in the way, but Daphne's wearing her all eyes on me jersey. Very nice. Both ladies starting hot. Starting us off on the right foot here in game three. Champions luck there. Got the pin to come back out and take out the six. So she avoided the split here in the second frame. All she got to do now is shoot this 4 7. Easy cover by Daphne. Seven pin for her on this thing, on this right lane. Girl made the seven pin. Very nice. Marie, all right, she, she great on that left lane. Take this brief break to once again thank our sponsors. UBA sponsored by Storm. There's a reason they're the number one ball company. All right. 
Third frame for Daphne. Match tied 1-1. Nice, very nice. Daphne for a double. Ooh. Almost got lucky and went Brooklyn, but she did leave the six. Daphne for the spare. She's got it. Confident walk off as usual. All right, so both these ladies are Dutch through four. Over the second arrow. Stayed. Good, nice. All right, nice spare by Anne Marie. All right. The last two on this lane, Daphne has struck. Can she make it three in a row? Looks good. She got it. All right, through five here in game three. Daphne's on 260 max, 249 max for Anne Marie. Got hit with a whoopsie on that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. She's been sparing on that lane. This should be no different here. 
glad these ladies got the splits out of their system last game. Marie coming up on the right lane. She has not struck on the right lane yet this game. This will be her third attempt. Let's see what she can do here. Mm, uh, seven pin. Solid spare there from Anne-Marie. She's looking back to some members on her team there and trying to figure out some hand signals on either moving or ball change, but she's going to stay in the screen ball right now. She's got to make a, probably a slight hand adjustment. Whatever adjustment she makes, just needs to be slight. She's, she's getting nine counts. She just needs to get some strikes here. Yeah, that was beautiful right there. Very, really good. She's been striking on. <laughs> yep, nice. Can Daphne double here in game three? There you go. All right. Yeah, Daphne say there. She knew she was a good shot. She just didn't know if it was going to 5 7 or 8 10 again. Bucket for Anne Marie here on this right lane. Luckily, just on the single strike, so spare here won't hurt her much. But Daphne is currently maxed at 240. Anne Marie maxed at 218 at the moment. Teammates behind me was asking for it to push. It did not listen. Got the 248 out, but left the five up. So without even looking to the back, she's uh, decided on a ball change here.
Very nice, very nice. A little excitement from Daphne there. There's, yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, she tripped a four out. There's a number of sayings that go with uh, tripping a four out, but we're going to leave that for your imagination. So Daphne is going to go up 2-1. Daphne up 2-1. She can still finish it out for a 240. But she's going to go up two games to one. Two games to one. Here in North Augusta. Both ladies starting game four off with strikes. Daphne does have the 2 1 lead. That's 
too low. I can't see. Four, ooh. Okay. Yeah, that ball did not read the mid lane very well. Four, seven lead. Nice spare by Emery. She's going back to Daphne. That one, very nice, Daphne. Exotic gem there. Action from Daphne. Four pin. Four pin leave there for Hey Marie. She's just having trouble getting uh, multiple strikes in a row. And Daphne just seems to get them when she needs them. And, and adds that pressure. the spare oh no missed it left that is not good early early open for Anne Marie so Daphne's got the first three here See if Daphne, I think she's going to get up on the wrong lane here. Nope. Okay. Thank goodness. for Daphne, looks good. Nice. Other. 
She's the Daphne has uh, been the best vixen in in the UBA for not just the WCS but in all the Southeast for a while now. One of the best. Always one of the first ladies off the board when it comes to uh, scratch events uh, requiring the opposite gender. And don't see that changing anytime soon. Nice. Very nice. So she's. So Daphne's throwing a different ball on each lane. Emery is throwing. I can't even tell what ball that is. Old, old Brunswick ball. Four pin lead for Amory. She can't afford to give any more frames away this uh, this game, or she'll find herself down three one. Looks good. Light fall over. Ooh, no. So she's going to throw it the 10 pin. She got that. She almost had a pin come out the gutter and take out the 10 pin, but it was stubborn and stayed, so. Amory's now fallen to a 215 max. And Daphne's on front five. Coming up now in the right lane. So you're having a general conversation with Daphne. Uh, um, excuse me, with Nick. I don't, Looks good. Yep. It's six in a row. This right here, give Daphne a huge lead. Seven in a row, got a hold, and it does. Very nice. Seven in a row. We also have our capped tag team champions in attendance taking in this match. Looks good. Not very good. Messenger came across but didn't have anything to hit. Very nice shot by Emery. Ball chains coming here from uh, Amory. And that's the beauty of these WCS matches. Pinfall is, is irrelevant. It's all about games.
And now with uh, with that nine count there from Anne Marie, Daphne is going to take a 3-1 lead here in game four. And she hasn't even gotten up in the eighth yet. It was a nice spare by Anne Marie. She just got to take the uh, final two frames here in this game and make sure she's lined up and ready to go for game five, where she will be facing elimination in game five. But right, got Daphne on front seven. Let's see if she uh, st stays doing what she's doing. Her and Nick have a brief conversation. Just trying to also make sure where uh, Nick's pretty good at uh, keeping, keeping Daphne focused on staying ahead of transition as much as possible. She kills that one. That's eight in a row for Daphne Smith. Front nine. Very nice. All right. Daphne Smith doing Daphne things here. Yeah. Emory Curry has like four balls on the rack. Hopefully she's uh Gonna be able to figure out what she's gonna th throw in game five. That looked very very good. So Nick's giving her a little bit of a uh, little bit of hard time about the ball she's using. Apparently it's a it's old enough. She's <laughs> even joking about it, calling it a vintage ball. So it's not, not a ball that I recognize. Up 12. There you go. Okay. So she could, she could play that line next game. Game five might be a little interesting, but we are currently 3-1. That one didn't look as good as the last shot did. Put that down nice and quiet. Didn't even hear the ball touch the lane. So, again, pinfall is irrelevant. It was 184 game there. Daphne's got front nine. Let's see if we can get us a 300 game here. For 10 in a row. Oh, 4 7. 4 7 lead for Daphne. Yeah, it got left in the mid lane pretty quick. But either way, it's 3 1. Nice 
and spare. All right, so Daphne's been throwing the physics on the right lane and the exotic gem. I think it's the exotic gem on the left lane. She is going to uh, ball change here and see what kind of reaction she gets on the right lane with this ball. So it's again one of the it's another one of the advantages of not having to worry about pinfall. It's just about games, and that ball looked good too. So. Uh, Daphne finished that game at 278, 278, almost a 100 pin opponent, but 100 pins doesn't really matter here. It's 3 1. It's all game counts, all that matters. We are here at Northside Lanes in North Char, uh, excuse me, North Augusta in South Carolina. A lot of all these directionals, uh, Places are throwing me off today. One thing I will say about about high uh, high caliber is they still have the same crowd here, even with their girl down three one. Still got the same crowd here in the building, and that's uh, very good for support for her, not only for today but going forward. Having all these people here. for uh, Anne-Marie here. Little extra uh, slide moves by Daphne there on the approach. I don't know if she felt like she stuck or or whatever, but all ten back was the outcome. the second arrow right where it needed to be. So it looks like on the right lane she's um, playing a little bit more in and she's staying a little out on, on the left lane. So. Ladies now got doubles here in game five. Gotta go. It wasn't pretty, but it counted. Daphne might have been a little surprised that held as well. 
thought I was going to come through the face. Daphne for four. Got it. All right, it's on Emory to match Daphne's four. And she does. Hand bones for everybody. She said she matched Daphne's four, raised her a fifth one. Back on Daphne now to match Anne Marie. Good. Ah, flat 10. Okay, so that might be the, the door that uh, Anna Marie needs left open. So. Talked about Daphne's 10-pin uh, spare percentage a lot on these streams. She's does very well. I feel she's pretty, probably 90, 95% on 10 pins. So I feel pretty, pretty good about her shooting this one. And she got it. The confident turn back towards the crowd, coming off the approach. All right, Daphne, you're going to need to. Strike here to get back on it, though. Put that pressure back on Amory to, to keep up with the strikes to stay ahead here. Oh, it looks a little inside, but it held very nice. For six, got it. Yeah. This game five, it can be huge for momentum. She can put a big number up here on, against Daphne. Put, put some pressure back on Daphne. Daphne's still gonna be up going to game six. If we get through this game, but it all starts with having the pressure on her. Anne Marie's done it really good right now. Yeah, all right, there you go. Yeah, Seven in a row. Seven in a row. She's throwing it good. Even get compliments from Nick. That's always nice.
Got the 10 out there. All right. Through seven, Daphne's max, 279. And Marie's max, max, 300. For Daphne. Yeah. All right. All right. So Anne Marie can't slip up here. She's got front seven. Thing I'll say about her, she's been very confident in her abilities here. Real quiet. Doesn't get too emotional. She she laughs coming off the approach with some of the things her teammates say. Here we go. Eight in a row. Buried it. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Thing thing I like about Anne Marie is when she gets up, the minute she set, she's ready to go and she goes. There's no long pauses, there's nothing crazy. She does all that off the approach. Once she's up there, gets her feet set, and she literally is go. For nine in a row. Gotta go. Ah. All right. This will be an important spare because this will put them both at max of 279. We could have a very exciting finish here in game five. In February, Daphne was in a match, went 2 2. And in game five, they had an to have a roll off. And it's a spare from Anne Marie. So, all right. Daphne's going to finish first. Daphne's got the ninth frame on the right. Let's see if she can put that pressure on her. Daphne doesn't have the same amount of pressure because. Even if Daphne loses this game, it's going to game six. So the pressure is all on Anne Marie. Buried it. frames. It's going to come down to the temp. Got to go. Ooh. Yeah, definitely got that a lot further right than she wanted it.
Oh. Oh. So Daphne finishes 278. Left the four pin. All right. So. And Marie can strike out. And force the game six. She can double nine and enforce a tie. Anything less than that. Match goes to Daphne. Oh. And that will do it for us here. Daphne survives game five. Daphne's going to win 4 1. Crowd, a lot of a lot of encouragement for uh, Anne Marie, who who definitely put up a fight. All right, again, embrace from our competitors. Daphne's going to take it. In five, four, one. So Daphne won again. Congratulations. Um, I tell you what, Emory put up a, a great fight there. Emory ball great. She throws it great. I knew it was going to be a good match. Yep. She throws it good. She had a lot of support here, which yep. is always good. Both of you had a lot of support here. It's always good to see in these matches when teammates come out. Um, you had Nick to kind of talk some stuff to you. She had some um, some folks to help her with ball changes and things like that yep. too. Um, what kind of what kind of what do you like about the, the the women's series right now? What's that mean having these girls come in and, and throwing all their effort into it and the, the support they're getting from their teammates? I like it. It's what the UBA is about. So I know you got the uh, Vixens Tag Series coming back um, starting in May. Yep. We'll have those. Um, are we going to be able to carry that same excitement over into that? Absolutely. It's going to be two on two. I think there'll be a little more excitement. I think there will be a lot of excitement. I saw your your, your sub partner was here today. Yeah. Um, she drove up to watch and support. Yeah, that's always good to see. Uh, so, uh, how, how many how many more times are you gonna win? I don't know. I don't know. I just take it one match at a time. You take it one match at a time, and you uh, are, are doing great. And uh, we appreciate everything you're doing. I know you've been getting some like head massages back there. Yes. When we started, I was starting to get a migraine. Was having a really bad headache, and Patty was grateful enough to give me some Tylenol, and then help rub my head so awesome well we appreciate you again as always and we look forward to seeing you at stay in your lane next month awesome thanks thank you ma'am